How y'all doing? <laughs> Checking in, celebrating these black dads. I want to highlight Puff Daddy. Man, Puff Daddy came a long way. Like, from interning all the way to the Forbes list. He done made his mark in music and business. But guess what? He made his mark as a father as well. Like, he always prioritized his family. He was always involved with his children's well-being. And um, I think some of that stemmed from the fact that he lost his father um, at a young age and it shaped his views and his decision making. I want um, I want the brothers to get from this, I want y'all to take from this that no matter how humble your beginnings are, like if you really put in the work and prioritize things right, the sky's the limit. Y'all have a good one. Being that my, um, my father, he was killed when I was three years old. I don't have like a lot of memories of my father. Um, you know, they say, you know, you can't miss something you never had. So that that's only a little a little ways right, you know. Um, there's definitely been times as I, I've gotten older that I've missed my father. And you know, his presence not being there, having somebody not to ask like manly advice. Um, just things that you would ask your father. Also, but also things that you would celebrate with him um, that would make him proud, you know. And, um, my father was a hustler, you know. He was a drug dealer, he was a hustler. And um, so I learned early in life that there was only two ways out of that dead end jail. And, um, you know, made me work that even harder. So sometimes you can't just answer why you know, things happen. But I definitely think the route that I went on, staying out the streets and you know hitting my books and trying to be somebody, um, I think he played a role in that. You know, I think that even if we don't know our parents, we we still have their DNA in us, you know. We have their genes, and um, I have this hustler's mentality, his hustler's spirit, his drive, his determination, you know, his swag. Um, and you know, he's gonna be on my mind a lot today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my father's name was Melvin Combs, and I'm Melvin's son, Sean Combs. stage in his life, Puff is so driven by his family. You can tell how much he adores his children who love him so much. Everybody looking right here. I honestly say like I'm the luckiest man in the world. I got three girls, three boys, and they're like, they, they're really kind, great people. Puff has an incredibly close relationship with all his children, especially his sons, Justin, Quincy, and Christian. He's always motivating me and pushing me to be greater. It's crazy because it's like it's my dad and also my best friend at the same time. So it's very unique and I really appreciate it. Man, look at him. Gears right from head to toe. His swag. That's that Quincy swag. Yeah, the aqua hydrate. Look at it. Hey, man, it's something when your kids grow up and be their own man. Look at you, man. He's a father. He's a friend. Um, he's a teacher, you know, he's like a therapist, you know, he, he, he's all that in one, you know, and that, that's kind of what makes him who he is. He's able to just conquer the world. As you can see, we're here on the SS Diddy. Hold on. We playing practical jokes. <laughs> Me and my three sons. We always joke around with each other, but at the same time, I have a super high level of respect for him. Stand up straight. Having girls, he said, especially changed everything for him. Um, it was really touching to see how emotional he got speaking about his daughters. Girls changed the game. If you miss out on being a man and having a daughter and really loving them, like you missing out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like they could they teach me so much. 